Have you ever experienced walking around, wandering around to look for solutions to our daily problems? When we feel confused, lonely or sad, we choose to go to places that will relieve us from disappointments, hurts, and pains. When we are caught with a bad day, we often invest our time and spend our resources on activities that we think would answer our problems. But in reality, they will make the condition worse. In a Sunday service, we hear the pastor's message as if God is using a megaphone to shout on us. But the presence of problems is not always an indication that we are not in God's will. Aero's response was to make slavery more bitter. And here is a wonderful illustration of what happens in the lives of some people with whom we share the life-changing message of Jesus. Rather than accept the message, they become even more busy. God does not have to work according to our plans or our timetable. That when problems abound, be careful which way, which way we run. Moses poured out all his anxiety to the only one who could answer his question. And that's God. When we have a bad day, recognize that God's plan and purposes have not changed. When God captures our heart, we stop. We find ways to determine God's will and learn how to trust on Him. It calls for a total obedience. Here's the good news. We can fix our eyes unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The world may have different ways to find their sources of joy and strength, but there's only one source to depend on. You and I know the answer. We just need to obey and follow Him. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble.